This place feels... different. It's the same house, but... No, that's not possible. Hello? Cass, you need me on this, please. Here we go again. Need. Needing someone isn't a weakness, Cassie. Not for you, maybe. Needing is primal. Once you need something, you're not in control. You're desperate. And I desperately need you to be safe right now. And I'm not ashamed of it. I'll... Damn it. What the hell? <sighs> Sorry, babe. Signal sucks. We'll pick this up later. Message sent. Man, you. Don't you dare spend your last nickel on another throw. Save your strength for writing poetry, Shakespeare. Now hand me the baseball. I'm winning you that, Teddy. <laughs> I ask Serge for his autograph. And then his phone number. Write it right on the ball. <laughs> Gotta be nicer to him. Jean? Jean, rise and shine, soldier. Your Betty Bird's made your favorite sausage and biscuits. Wait. I smell... is that... breakfast? What happened to him? Jean. <laughs> You've barely touched your plate, my love. Go on, have some more. Your body needs the vitality for action. Can she see him? <laughs> now, sweetheart, don't you fret. I'll find that gun lickety split. No soldier worth his salt ought to carry those shoddy government issued pistols. Plastic handles? Shh. Give me checkered walnut any day. Okay. I got this. Last time I just had to figure out what happened to Felicia. This time I need to find that gun. Easy. Gotta find the source of that. I simply must find that gun.
I'm gonna need to get up in that attic. Guess I'll have to find something to pull that door down. Oh, I'm certainly trying to keep busy, dear. You should see how tidy my stitching has become. But I need more. I'm not the putter around type, you know. Come, let me show you what I've been studying. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. English... Anglais? Real smooth, Cass. Maybe Delphi can help. Moat a pas... Password. <sighs> Time to get Sherlocky, Cass. child, the house unsettled me a bit too. It's always been a creaky, morose place with too many moths, but that's all. No voices had ever spoken to me, no visions ever assaulted my senses. The only ghosts I've encountered are out here overseas. But enough morbid talk. Your loving husband, Jean. Where is that gun? to a live community user. Hey there, Cassie. Nice to meet you. I'm Nick. Just started using this app. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, happy to help. Just waiting for the image to come through. Okay, there it is. Looks like a lockbox. 
Oh yeah, there's a little latch on the side there. Kind of hard to notice. Once you flip that, it should open. I'll be in your contacts now, so hit me back whenever. Okay. Connecting to a live community user. Hi! Again. <laughs> I've got cat sitting for friends, so I'll be here all day. Let's see, picture's coming in now. Yikes. Um, someone wrote the word Durham over and over on this mirror. Looks like it's written in lipstick. Weird. At least I hope that's lipstick. <laughs> oh, I need to get out more. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. See, Daddy, I hope your dear old friend can help a gal out. Come on, Corporal Roger Del Rey, I'm counting on you. <clears throat> dear Mrs. Jean Martin, my dear, I remember your father well and am forever in debt to his many sacrifices in the name of freedom. He was a frank man, so you'll forgive me for being frank when I say that he'd roll over in his grave if he knew I'd put his sweet girl in the line of duty. What? would be proud of me. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Go get him, Betty. <sighs> that can't be good. You don't belong over there. I do. When I find that gun, I am going over there. And there will be hell to pay! Felicia was paranoid about her baby. Is the house making Betty paranoid about what's happening to Jean overseas? Aha, the wasps. Boy, I'd love to slip into the cockpit of a Twin Beach. Hmm, thank you for your interest in the Women Air Force Service Pilots. Unfortunately, all our WASPs must have their pilot's licenses issued before the start of the war. Well, that's just foolish. I'm a fast learner and... Oh... Well, no use crying over spilt milk. Once more onto the breach.
Delphi, text to speech. Chantal. Maybe this would work at the door. Chantal. the stress as a war puts on a man, Jean, so don't get all bent out of shape. Take whatever comfort you need. I'm sorry I haven't found the gun yet, but I'll get it to you no matter what. I'm coming. Just you wait.
grandmother stole away is such a harsh word. I know, father always said if the... I know. Father always said that the cargo holds are never policed. I... J yes. All right, I promise. No, you do not need to come here. No, you do not need to come here. It's just... Ever since I found father's gun, I... So she found the gun. Well, why the hell am I still here? From the office of John Treebook. Oh, oh yes, the fellow from the local recruitment office. Oh, surely they'll have something for me to do overseas. Hmm. Dear Mrs. Martin, we appreciate your numerous requests to be placed in the field, but believe me when I say the most action you'd see is from behind a desk. Excuse me? Well, I'm sure you're a top-notch typist, so why don't you come down to the boss to typing? I wonder what an itchy trigger finger would do to a girl's word per minute. Oh, cheer up. Betty, you'll get there yet. We are always eager for more Women's Army Auxiliary Corps. We are unable to offer you... Pilarkey! Well... Fine. Let's see what I can do at home. At the very, very least. Oh, come on now. What a shame. What a stupid... Shame. Coming for you, Jean. Dear Betty, thank you for your enthusiasm about organizing a neighborhood watch. I'm afraid your location puts you at a disadvantage, and you're all alone up there. I'm sure a nice girl like you could certainly help out at the women's club bake sales downtown. <sighs> no, I won't. I, I won't be deterred. Perhaps I could appeal again to Roger. He might listen to reason.
Delphi, text to speech. Behind you. 